What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, aka Ricky Williams, The Last Days, coming at you. Uh, May 13th, 2013, and a week after the fight, a couple, a week and some days after the fight. Um, I thought I'd do this uh, vid recording round eight. I think this was the most definitive round of the fight uh, for Floyd Mayweather. Um, for post fight thoughts for uh, Robert Casper Guerrero versus Floyd Money Mayweather. Let's get into it, guys. Um, I think this fight was what we all thought it would be. Um, some people gave Robert Guerrero a chance. Why? I do not know. I, I, I didn't. Um, Floyd Mayweather, um, looked good this fight, guys. I mean, we, I, I mean, Robert Guerrero's, he's not a slouch. He's not elite either, as you guys know how I feel about elite fighters. But he's not a slouch either. I mean, you got to think, you know, what he did to Andre Berto and Aiden. I mean, these were world to weights. You know that he put a, a put put up a get hurting on. So he's he's world class, but he's not elite. He is a good fighter, but he is not elite. Um, as you can see, Floyd Mayweather just once he had his timing down, it was all it was ugly for him. Um, he's fighting a southpaw with his foot on the inside of his outside foot and still beating him to the punch. You know what I mean? Um, this this right here is when Floyd pretty much just took over. Um, he caught Robert Guerrero with gango right hands to the body, and Guerrero had no answer. Um, I think this is pretty much where he took this round. Round eight is where he take Guerrero's heart. You know, he beat the fight out of him this round. Them body shots, Jesus. You gonna get this work, Guerrero? You gonna go back to the body on him? About to catch him with that left hand up top, smack the shit out of him, man! Look, why don't we just accept? Floyd Mayweather is light years of buddies of the welterweights, man. Light years of buddies of the welterweights, man. It was easy work. It was easy work for Floyd. Right? It was easy work. I like to say we've seen a little bit of the return of pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. That Saturday night. Great movement. His lateral movement was beautiful. Defense was on point. Accuracy was off the charts. Man, can't none of these dudes mess with him, man. Brandon Rios said it. Juan, Mar Juan Manuel Marquez said it. Can't nobody beat this dude, man. He's boring. People call him barren because he makes these dudes easy work, guys. Man, Robert Guerrero. He, that boy could take a shot, though. You got to give him that. He's good at taking a punch. Man, you going to get this work, Guerrero. Um, anyways, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Canelo Alvarez, I, I, I want to see that fight, man. I want to see Mayweather and Canelo, Canelo Alvarez. But honestly, it won't happen in September. I'm thinking Cinco de Mayo next year. That'll be the fight he fights. But, um... Canelo gonna get that work too, guys. All right, as I told you, as I tell people on my forums, Mayweather is not Berto. He's nowhere near Berto, kid. Really. Uh, video use property, uh, you know, all rights reserved for Showtime, so they don't block my video. Um. Easy work, man. Good fights on Abner Murray's and um, Ponce de Leon was a good fight. I think they stopped it way too soon. I think Ponce de Leon was still throwing back. He was still lucid. He shouldn't stop that fight. That's that's some Golden Boy shit. You know what I'm saying? There was no reason for them to stop that fight. Rev jumped in there way too soon. Um, what's next? Robert Guerrero is still a viable opponent for a couple of people. You know that. 
I've been hearing that they're looking to get him with Vic Ortiz. I think he beats the brakes off Vic Ortiz. Vic Ortiz has no heart whatsoever. Vic Vic Ortiz is a bitch to me, and, and a, he he's just looking for a paycheck. In all honesty, he, he paycheck should be his middle name, uh, Vic Paycheck Ortiz, because he he has no heart. Once he finds he can't beat you, he, he tries to find a way out to fight. Um, Robert Guerrero would look very good against Victor Ortiz. Um, I'm sure there's some other welterweights in line that would, you know, give Robert a good good buy in the stand value. But I, I, more than likely, I see that Victor Ortiz fighting happen as they supposedly have bad blood. Um, Floyd Mayweather is looking to fight in September. I don't think he's going to fight in September, maybe October or November, um, if possible, because he hurt his hand. I don't see him, you know, coming back back to back like that, um, especially if he has control over his contract. Like he says he has with Showtime. So I don't see him coming back in September, maybe October or November. Uh, more than likely November if his hands healed. Um, to go against more than likely that Brandon Rios um, Pacquiao fight. But can y'all believe this shit? Pacquiao is asking for blood tests now? You're telling me the motherfucker who did not want to take a blood test is now asking for blood tests? Seriously? So what was the problem, bruh? When you wouldn't take the blood test. And if I see one person post, oh, he agreed. He agreeing to the blood test is not signing on the contract as far as uh, that you're going to take blood, blood, blood test. And if it was okay, why you ain't signed the first fucking contract then? Man. Anyways, man. Robert, he's a warrior, man. At least he kept coming, but. Uh, Floyd pretty much took his heart in the eighth round, man. That's about it. Easy work, Floyd. Money Mayweather. He, he, you got it, man. I don't know what to say about this dude, man. He just impresses me every time he, he laces up, man. He he shows and proves, man. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say before I make this video too long. I, I look at the all access, you know what I'm saying? The 24 sevens, all that shit. I'm a, I, I, I want to pose this to you guys, right? How do these guys expect to beat Floyd Mayweather doing the same shit they always do, right? Robert Guerrero in that training doing the same shit he always do. Shane Mosley, you're doing the same shit you always do. The only person I could say that actually took a different approach was Miguel Cotto. But all these dudes, you can't beat extraordinary with normal, man. This dude is extraordinary. He's not average. Y'all think he's average as a fighter? He is not. He is extraordinary. And y'all keep doing the same shit thinking that's insane doing the same shit thinking your results gonna be different it, it's not different yo step your game up Guerrero you got that work you deserve that work God can't, can't box for you son he can't box for you that's your boy the last days leave your comments suggestions subscribe shout out to my favorite uh my favorite channels, uh, Lady Love Boxing, or the Female Boxer Fan 1. I got Rick Ross Ross, got my boy Gambino, got um, Mr. Boxing Today, we got Divine Sense, we got Dwyer, we got uh, Boxing Bell, we got um, MVP, we got uh, BK1, Brooklyn War BK Warriors won. Y'all know how we do it. We look at them videos, man. A Million Styles Boxing. I don't know. I think he got banned for copyright issues. I really hope he comes back. I haven't seen his channel. I haven't looked at it today. So I don't know if he's back up. But that's some bullshit. That guy was the truth in breaking down boxing and the little things. Small things, all things. I quote him all the time now. Small things, all things in the, in the square circle. Control is fun, guys. Um, that's it. It's your boy, The Last Days. I'm out.